Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Craft Night. I have no shoes on. I'm barefoot. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I do. In my last episode, I said that the first thing I would do in this one is throw away my iron armor and go ahead and make some diamond armor and enchant it. Yeah, we're six episodes in. I still don't have any diamond armor, so we're gonna go ahead and make sure we get that. But first thing we need to do is make sure the sun is up. I ain't trying to get hit by a zombie and damage my diamond armor before I even go over and enchant it. So let's go ahead and just get right into this. Thank you for clicking on the video. Subscribe if you are new. We are on the road to a million subscribers. And I'm uploading a new game, Minecraft, on YouTube. I've always been a Fortnite YouTuber. For those of you who are new and didn't know that. So we're really trying to build up our Minecraft community and I appreciate you guys stopping by. But yeah, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and just make our diamond armor. This is a very special moment and uh, we're getting achievements. Cover me with diamonds. Achievements are flying. And you know what else is flying? Not me, because I don't have Elytra yet, but oh, I just tapped out. While I might not have Elytra, I do have something very special, which is new armor because I've been needing it. Wait, well, I can't my scroll isn't even like working. Okay, there we go. We got our iron armor. Look at how beautiful my guy looks. It's like pink and blue. I love it. Also, I don't think I've shown you this room yet. I definitely changed it a lot. Let's close these doors for now. But check this out. In my last episode, it didn't look like this. And I totally forgot. I did a bunch of off-camera work that I didn't get to show you guys. So let's catch you up to speed real quick on that. The first thing we did is went and outlined this entire room with shroom blocks. And now that I'm looking at it, I have an even further idea. Shout out to the person who commented on episode four and suggested shroom blocks or shroom. What are they called? right here shroom lights that's what they're called i'm sorry you guys are probably cringing but you know what let's get rid of this amethyst right now because i have an idea and you guys already know what that idea is i'm trying to find a way to light this floor really well and honestly the purple and the glow like really didn't go well together i think this is going to look a lot better and also light this room up just enough where it is much more effective and i think i have literally the perfect amount of shroom blocks for that i had 19 and there's 19. I love the look of this room so far. We're going to continue to make it look really good. But it's just the start of the episode. We got a long ways to go. Let's go ahead and just make this a little more roomy right now. It's still dark. There's too much dark wood. That looks a little bit better. What else has changed since the last time? Oh, yeah. Dylan got a new house. Or his first house, actually. He's never had a house. So now when we come out of our little starter bedroom, we see a beautiful looking... What is this? Uh, what's it? What's it called? Terracotta. It's a green terracotta with some nice wood accents on it. He's got a dock here. And that really inspired me. You know, I saw his dock. Let's go ahead and take a quick tour of his house. It's very, very simple in here and very symmetrical. I'm sure he'll expand it, maybe even make a second floor. Who knows what he's going to do with this, to be honest with you. But the lime terracotta looking good. Here's the view from the front of his house. And also from the front of his house, you might be able to see something over on the right side of my house that... It wasn't there last time. Like I said, I've done a bunch of off-camera work. I love to keep you guys updated. But what happened was when I got on the server and I saw Dylan... Let me close these doors, actually. When I got on the server and I saw Dylan's backyard of his house was a big, nice dock on the river, I decided that I needed one, too. But um, it's still not done, so we're going to go ahead and work on that right now. The first thing I need to do, actually, is grab some wood and make some boats. So I think this is how you make a boat. We'll make five boats, because why not? And the way to get to my dock is from the upstairs. I know my house on the upstairs is super, super basic right now. Literally, the only thing is my bedroom, this little port, and then obviously now we have this, which is still not done. What I need to do is make the transition look a little bit cleaner down here. But when you come down here, you see this little thing. It's like a little corner. Obviously, I ain't gonna put boats here because there's not even water there. So I decided to make a nice little library, put a plant and a lantern there. And then over here, I'm gonna put some books for enchants. In the middle, we got a crafting table, some barrels, some furnaces, stuff like that. But we'll go ahead and dock a boat right about here. I don't know how Dylan got his boats so like perfectly parked because, oh wait, maybe just like this. Yeah. Nice. So we got our boat parked there. I don't like that it's a dark oak boat, but you know what? We can always change that later. We could park another boat right there. Oh, that one just dropped. Per There's a squid that's moving my boat, bro. I just... I just did that, man. Anyway, yeah, we got leftover boats, so we'll go ahead and just sprinkle them in here. So if I ever need an extra boat, it'll be there for me. This needs to be parked, like, right there. Perfect. And then this one needs to be parked, like, right about here. Yep, there we go. So we got our boats. And finally, this is our little dock. I hope you guys like it. I honestly really do. The only thing that's weird about it is this little entrance right here, which I still need to fix, obviously. So why not just do that right now with my new enchanted axe? Because I'm just updating you guys on so many things that I just haven't shown you guys in the videos yet. Check out my diamond shovel with efficiency four and unbreaking three. And then my diamond axe with efficiency four. Oh yeah, and my sword. Fire aspect two, sharpness four, sweeping edge three. Those are my newest enchants. I did those off camera just because like I said, I was doing a bunch of grindy work and I needed some good tools, but I'm going to need to make the shape of this house a little bit different right now, just so it fits the theme a little bit better. So I'm going to need to break some glass. I'm going to need to change some outlines and it might take a second. Oh, I just heard a, yep. 
a drown. No trident though. One day we'll get a trident. And you know what? I want you to guess in the comments right now what episode I'm gonna get a trident on. It'll be funny to look back on if you guys get it right. I'm sure it's not gonna be this episode, but if you guys want to guess right now in the comments and predict when I will get a trident, if you are right, maybe I'll give you guys some sort of gift or something when I eventually do get a trident because I will get one at some point in this game. So many tridents spawn here. It's so weird. All right, time to go on a quick adventure. I need some spruce logs and I already see them, so it shouldn't be that far. I don't know about you guys, but in Minecraft, I literally like have to break an entire tree. I can't let parts of the tree still be there because I hate when there's like a floating tree. Let me know if you guys are the same way because I'm very weird about it. Like I won't let it sit there. I've just always been like that. I don't know. One step closer. We have a very seamless staircase now. Instead of just a two staircase right here, we have a very seamless one that literally just goes all the way down my floor. I love the minimalism of our house right now, but I do want to add more around here. I don't think it should be too boring. Anyway, we're just continuing because the ideas are still flowing right now. And don't worry, I will enchant my armor in this video. I just got to do it a little bit later. I want to keep doing what I'm doing while I have ideas. All right, let's continue on here. Our next step is building a little roof for this, but not just any roof. It's going to be a special roof. It's going to connect to the ocean floor. So we're just going to build it with a bunch of fences to start. Let's park this boat because I don't know how it keeps coming loose. All right, well, that's a good start to the roof. Only problem is I can't have it higher than this because I don't want the view to be obstructed of this thing right here. And it won't be as long as I make sure I don't go any higher than this layer right here. All right, now let's start adding some accents like this. Under this as well, I'm sprinkling random lights like glowstone lamps and the shroom lights just so I can get a little bit of a vibe from under here. And honestly, it's looking really, really good so far. And I think we're about good here on the leaves. From our big window here, it might block a little bit of the view, obviously, like just this little part right here that's just grounded. Honestly, there's nothing even there right now. From our main window right above the house, there's absolutely no view being blocked, which is fine. But we are not done on this project yet. There's still some work to do. Like I said, we weren't done. Our next step is adding lights to this guy. Break off a little bit of holes in the ceiling and uh yeah we got our lamps we got our lights we got our crafting table, our barrels, our furnace, our boats that are somehow just leaving the dock every five seconds. And yeah, that was a pretty quick project. I mean, obviously I built the outline off camera, but yeah, I love the look of this. And shout out to Dylan for the inspiration on this. I saw his dock and I decided I needed one too, because you know, if we're building our houses on the river next to each other, we obviously need boats to get to each other's houses. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea how much we're going to be using the boats, but hey. It, it looks really good and it is just an absolute vibe so i'm happy with it drop a comment on how you're feeling on our little cave down here and i would say it's pretty successful from far away our house looks like this now i think that in celebration of finishing that room we need to go ahead and do something fun that i said i was gonna do you guys already know we're gonna enchant our diamond armor what i'm gonna need for that is some lapis of course i'm gonna leave some tools in here because i'm not gonna need these for a second and we have to go to the nether because i have absolutely no levels to do that for every single piece of gear i never want to bore you guys with just showing you me mining um, a bunch of nether quartz. I'll see you guys in a sec. Level 40. Time to go back home. With 40 levels, I'm able to enchant every single piece of armor I have, which is nice. Yeah. And I really do like the look of this coming back to it. It's just that this window is now like, all that Sarah's at is this, but you know what? It's fine. If you're into enchants in Minecraft, then go ahead and just roast me in the comments. If you don't really care about enchantments, then I'm glad because I'm not the best with enchantments. I'm gonna tell you that right now. So the first thing I think we should do is look at every enchantment that we get. We got Unbreaking 3. Fire protection on the chest plate looks really good. I think I'm gonna do that. So we got fire protection and unbreaking. Okay, so we got our chest plate done. Next up, let's see what we get on helmet. We got protection, blast protection. Blast protection is really good. I don't know if I want that on the... I think I want that on the leggings, though. We'll take protection three. Oh my goodness, this is a good helmet. Respiration and aqua infinity. I love swimming in water, and like I know that both of these enchantments help a lot with breaking stuff, swimming, and things like that. So that's perfect. Let's see what we get on this. I want feather falling on my boots for sure. I think I can reroll one enchantment, so I'm just going to take the gamble and do it. We're going to go like that, and then we're going to un enchant these and let's see what we got now so unbreaking okay and on here we got blast protection i don't have blast protection yet so i guess i could do that but then i don't know if i can get feather falling too i don't know i don't know we can always make a new one if we have to but for now i think we'll just go like this protection unbreaking sure we have good armor it's not the best because i don't have blast protect oh wait I, yeah i do have blast protect i told you this is going to be a mess but we got full enchanted everything now i don't think there's anything that i don't have enchanted except a diamond hoe but that's obviously fine every single smp or any server i've ever been on i've always had a dog or a loyal companion you know something to keep me company but i've always just gotten one in one of my episodes thrown him in my living room and then never looked at him or talked to him or literally interacted with them ever again this time we're gonna do it a little bit different okay with all of that being said i'm gonna go ahead and embark on my first ever mission my first ever building i should say that's going to be away and separate completely from my house it's not going to be too far it's literally going to be right here but let's go ahead and just start building it Oh, 
All right, and with that, we are about done. I uh, don't know if you can tell what it is, but um, there's obviously one use for this house, and it's too small for me. It's for my dog, which I don't even have yet. So for the last part and the last mission of this episode, we need to find our pet. It's honestly super easy. All I need is a bunch of bones, and I just need to find a wolf. But it's a very important moment because it's literally my second build that I've done in this episode and my first ever build, like I already said, that's completely detached from my house. Oh, wait, I forgot one thing. I wanted to... Yeah, I wanted to do this and then this. I totally forgot about that. So, um, now, now it's done. There we go. But yeah, I want to bone meal everything around here. Give a little bit more life to it. I just got to break some of it because there's too much. Let me grab a few flowers too. So yeah, we got an empty home, but, um, we only have one reason for it and we need to go find that reason right now. So I will see you guys when we find our wolf. I don't know how long it's going to take. I honestly don't really ever look for them. I just kind of randomly find them. So this will be interesting. Oh, wait a sec. It's like he was just running towards me almost. Okay, we got bones, and it was almost like this one was fate. There we go. We got our first ever friend on the server, best friends forever, tame an animal. We got the achievement, and now it's time to just get him back home. I could definitely get more than one since I have an entire house, which, like I said, I used to always just put them in my living room and they just sit there. But my friend here is gonna have an entire house to himself. I told you, we're going extra hard on the server, and we are spoiling our dog. I hope he's following me. Where? Where is he? Wait, what? Oh, there he is. Wait, is that him? That's him. Oh, it's a horse. And here he is. He's coming home. Here he goes. Wait. All right, there we are. He's in his home. Wait, why did he leave? Why is he leaving? Come here. Probably hungry too. Should I feed him? There we go. Why is he running away? Come here. All right. He's in his home. He's just gonna sit there like a good boy. And uh, one more thing. There's one more thing. Obviously, every time you get a dog, you have to name him. I'm also gonna put his name on the dog house. So let's grab a sign real quick. Where is he? Here he is. Okay. Wait, can I put a name tag on a dog? I don't think I can. But our dog's name is Kenzo, which is in Japanese, it means wise one. So I'm just gonna do this. There we go. Cause he's smart. Cause he like walked right to me. So yeah, I like the name. His name is Kenzo. I don't know. Let me try to put a name tag on him. I don't think you can though. Okay, let's go back to his house. I love the aesthetic of this. It's so cool. I love like the little nature too. Wait, where did the, wait, what? Did the Enderman take that? I swear that hole was not there, but anyway. Yeah, I love the look of this place and I'm very, very proud of it. Let's try to put a name tag on him. Like I said, I don't, yeah, you can. Okay, so his name is Kenzo. It's right there in case we ever forget. We'll get him a buddy too. We'll get him a friend and we'll put his name right here. But for now, this is what we got. We put little item frames. We'll put his leash and a bone in those because those are the two things that dogs use so we should probably get him a little like barrel in here that can hold food for him let's do that maybe there oh i like that actually yeah i like the barrel right there and really we're not going to use this barrel very much but we'll put some pieces of food for him in there just in case we ever need it and i'll feed him a little bit more so he's fully happy and uh yeah i will just leave him here for now in the little dog house i love it i love it we'll finish off this project by just adding some lanterns just to make sure he has proper light in here and honestly that should be good for now as you can see we're starting to build something together piece by piece we're getting little tiny projects done i love the dog house i don't know what i like more guys comment down below what do you like more that i built in this episode the dog house or this really cool dock looking thing i think bamboo is going to be a really good accent for all of my stuff so i need to go find a forest when i can but i don't know if there's even a forest you guys didn't know there's a whole barrier we can only go six thousand blocks by six thousand if you didn't watch i think it was episode two go watch the entire series if you haven't caught up yet but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments which one you like more, my dock or my doghouse. And uh, yeah, I'm going to end off the video here. It's Vinny Boy Kaz. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.